Anne of Green Gables here. Hope you have a nice week. Week that just begun, and I've got um, a package that I actually paid for in 2020, in the end of 2020. Um, but uh, it took uh, time to arrive because it was uh, pre ordered. I ordered uh, from uh, Alice Girl and uh, I used the shopping service on AliExpress from uh, the shop Lollygals. So Lollygals is probably the only um, legit Lolita Taobao reseller on AliExpress. I placed my order on the, the end of uh, 2020, on the 30 of uh, the 12 months. I failed to mention before. I, I have ordered uh, underskirt and uh, apron. Uh, I think it's the kitten and flower series. And it should have taken 60 days. I have been expecting to get it on March. Uh, but due to Chinese New Year and delay due to the vacation in the factory, which like I'm really glad for the workers, they, they deserve the vacation <laughs> and other things. The package got really, really delayed. I reached out to Lolly Girls uh, two times and like they gave an explanation. They didn't say, hey, this is a problem, but I wasn't worried because the AliExpress protection is very good. So if the uh, my purchase uh, didn't arrive on time they probably like get would give me back the money so the shipment dispatched in the 20th of april and it arrived today the 30th of may uh, which is like very good time uh, in my opinion for shipments <laughs> coronavirus all this stuff three months uh, delay is like nothing Okay, let's open up the package. Okay. So being careful with the scissors, I probably told uh, in another video, I actually haven't edited yet about how my ex um, cut through a pair of socks by Innocent World. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I bought uh, in the past uh, this this was by mistake, like, uh, he thought it was meant for him and he didn't know, like, it's for me and he wasn't careful with the scissors. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I already like it. So, yeah, I'm careful with, with, when opening my packages now. Look at this. So I ordered it in cream because I wear a lot of classic stuff and I really, really need a cream underskirt and I also need a cream apron um, because I have uh, an OP with a stain on it. I will probably tell the tale of this cursed OP in a, on a later day. I Anyway, oh, I like the color. Uh, it, uh, oh, it looks so good. Like, got in a bag, like Alice Girl, and it's size S. I wasn't sure about sizing, I decided based on the length, I think. And here is the apron, it's nice, I really like the one. The design of the bag is nice, I really, I really like Alice's Girl designs. Okay, I have here, like, this see if it, yeah it comes to focus this is the apron it is nice cream color i think it's it sort of matches this i i wanted to wear something that matches here it says it says here alice girl and this is the apron it's really really lovely it's my first lolita apron um fabric is a bit stiff actually it, it has some lining it has some netting inside the lace is very soft um, the waist ties they have some plastic net inside to give it some um, well structure but it, they're sort of stiff 
And here is um, something to do with the size, the buttons and buttonholes. So you can change, I guess you can change the size and the way you wear it. So let's try it on. Yeah, I probably will wear it like lower on myself. I probably should. Uh, I think these buttons will allow it. Uh, I, I will show it later in the cord, but it, um, it is really nice. The fabric is like this very delicate netting. It's like a symbolic apron. It's not real apron. And it's in the size M. Let's look at this lovely lace. It like has bows on it and i will show more details later but this lovely flower it's really hard because i don't start oh <laughs> look at that it has this nice it's really nice i really like it well it looks like um I wonder if it's one of uh, my Kira's drawings or something. Anyway, <laughs> it's a really nice tag. Okay, let's see the underskirts. Ooh, that's some weight to it. This is the size S. I think I. Yeah, it's. I, see, I already see it's a good length on me. And. Really nice cotton fabric. Hope you will be able to see it. It's Pintax and fabric is very soft. As you can see it is lined. And I really hope uh, the, the elastic won't be too harsh on me. Um, maybe I should have gone size up like the sizes were a bit confusing i'll give it a quick steam and give you some close-up shoots i'll add it to my outfit basically i might not have done the best job at steaming currently uh, but that's okay uh, probably maybe i should have like sized up in the skirt and sized down in the apron because I think it's like a little bit big on me and I'm afraid that the skirt will be tight because my abdomen is uh, very sensitive uh, I basically can't wear binders for example because of that um, so you can see it has like this really really lovely lightweight fabric fully lined as you can see with the quite thick cotton fabric which is good and here it is lined with like the fabric is very lovely it's like fake lace insert I think it looks very nice and fabric is patterned like I think um, I might have think about an option to just wear, wear just this and a blouse it will look very cute if i find the right blouse for that and there are two tiers of ruffles and three uh rows of pin tags um it looks like it can accommodate a cupcake petticoat and also probably an a-line uh, underskirts uh, I think they, they, they tend to be made in a way that will allow them to work with both. It's so pretty. I, I really, really like the touch of the fabric. It's so nice. Um, as you can see, it has like fully elastic. And what I really like is that uh, the elastic is also sewn into place. So it wouldn't roll on you like... <clears throat> classical puppets petticoats <clears throat> but uh, yeah it looks so nice I really really like it 
So uh, it seems like uh, actually the size of the skirt is good for me. I, I might uh, want to um, stretch it overnight uh, on, a, on a chair or something so it will be a little looser but because the elastic is thick uh, the tension distributes uh, very well. So uh, I wanted to show some features of the apron. So the stiffness of the waist ties is actually really nice because it, the bow, uh, it's a very soft material that doesn't uh, hold its own weight. And the snatting, um, they give it some structure so it's you can tie it really nicely into a bow and also it has these um, drawstrings which you can um, it's not the best because it's lace and it doesn't go in very smoothly so like you have to be careful with that so uh, not sure I like um, like what they used for the drawstrings here but if you're careful I like um, just just there are just holes basically going through this move it but it is not something that you can do fast so I think it would be better if they used uh, like ribbon or something and not lace uh, although the lace is very beautiful uh, it is not uh, it is sort of hard to uh, you know move it up and down so don't think this will be a feature I will use much uh, also um, I did like the uh, Large, big amount of uh, button uh, buttonholes. They're like uh, there are four buttonholes, um, for what I can count, uh, by touch, and um, uh, so you can you can pull these drawstrings and work it up very delicately. Uh, I really wish. They had used quick ribbons that are more uh, silky. Oh, but this this looks really nice. I think this this also this feature will be able to cover the stained dress that I have. And yeah, as you can see, there is this flower here, and it says Alice Girl. And there is this nice lace and also ruffles um, more lace but uh, I, I really like this classic piece this I, I, I haven't seen um, something similar to it lately anywhere uh, I think that the apron is uh, a bit too big on my waist i uh, tied it to the max and but i think it will be fine because it still looks okay like i was sort of not sure what size to take i i felt like i was sort of between sizes and the length of the apron was also a factor in that so uh, i think i think that overall it's fine i I'm very very pleased with it. But overall, I am both uh, pleased with uh, Alice Girl uh, and uh, also uh, I am quite pleased with the service of Lolly Girls. Uh, I think like it it wasn't their fault uh, that the delay was as big, although. And I guess, like, um, you know, uh, it's a good service uh, overall. And the fact that it was on AliExpress made it uh, easier to navigate for me. Uh, although I think that next time 
I uh, order from Taobao, I will try to actually order from a Taobao or seller and yeah, that's it. And actually wearing it uh, motivated me so much that I think I will go and uh, buy some groceries or something like that in that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.